Hello, so this is day eight of our Pavlik harness journey. Um, a few things actually to mention today. So um, I have tried out a tip that somebody gave me um, to do with sleeping. Um, it was about rolling up a towel or something and putting it under a uh, baby's feet while they're lying on their back in the crib to give it some support so their legs aren't sort of um, trying to wait forward so much. I actually forgot to do it at the start of the night, but after I fed um, Max at around 2.30 um, in the morning he was quite unsettled and I thought about um, oh I haven't tried that so I quickly grabbed a um, blanket and rolled it up and done it and he did actually seem a bit more settled so it could have just been coincidence but I'm going to try it again tonight from like the start of the night and see how we get on with that um, which was good um, Yesterday I was talking about uh, the H&M clothes I ordered which weren't going to arrive. I did manage to pop out to the shops today and uh, pick some up. Um, so I just thought I'd quickly show you. So it's um, these ones here which have the little feet on them um, which are great because obviously the harness covers their feet and it's quite hard to get socks on. Um, so this is like all in one. Um, they don't look like they fit over the harness very well but actually they do because there's so much stretch in them. And the material is actually quite thin so as you can see like the legs can flop right out and there's like no restriction there which you'd get with thicker material which is great so I'm really happy I managed to um, pick them up it's only a two pack but um that will do um we did do another vest change and flannel wash this morning um definitely getting um a bit quicker with it more confident um i need to probably perfect my flannel washing technique i sort of haven't really had to do it before so um, if anyone's got any tips let me know um what i've just done is i've had like two little tupperware bowls one with soapy water one with normal water and i've sort of just been like doing the soapy water and then doing the um normal water and then um drying them off with loads of pseudo cream and, and stuff like that but if there's any better way like i don't know how clean he is <laughs> um, but obviously i want him to be as clean as possible so um as you probably know now we're going away um tomorrow so he is probably going to be a little bit sweaty so i probably need to get my technique uh nailed um asap um, yeah, so if anyone could share any tips, that'd be great. Um, a few days ago, I talked about getting some uh, covers for the straps of the harness, and finally they arrived. I feel like I was waiting for them for ages. So here they are. So they're um, little uh, Velcro um, fastener, and really soft and fluffy on the outside, uh, on the inside, sorry, and quite soft on the outside. Um, but yeah, so we'll give those a go. Sorry, you might be able to hear Max in the background. He's getting a little unhappy. Let's just grab him here. Say hello. <laughs> so yeah, we'll try those um, straps. Um, I think they'll actually work better for the leg straps rather than the arm straps because now we've got a vest on. I feel like the arms um, aren't sort of being uh, made sore. The skin isn't being made sore, but the legs um, are still being a little bit scratched. So... Um, we may just use some of the straps rather than all of them. I was talking yesterday about um, a, a lady I was speaking to that had to take her daughter back to the hospital to get the harness readjusted. And now I find I'm driving myself mad. I'm constantly looking at... Oh, baby. Shh, 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 shh. I'm constantly looking at Max's legs, wondering if one is sort of uh, more flopped out than the other if the creases are all in the same places um my husband did say to me that obviously max had one leg which was worse than the other so there is a potential that one was strapped up slightly differently um to start with so i've been reeling um back through some photos from when we first got the harness just to see if the legs look the same or not so um trying not to drive myself mad with that but um i am that sort of person I drive myself to insanity um what else have we done so another lady reached out to me actually said she's been watching these videos um and she had her harness fitted for her baby when they were only sort of two weeks old which is crazy you know i found it traumatic enough at 11 weeks uh 10 weeks old but you know imagine a two week old tiny little baby um in this harness and then you know that must be really super hard um but she's also quite local to me and now um 
about four or five people locally have reached out or I've sort of met through um, groups. So I'm now potentially thinking about maybe trying to arrange some sort of like public harness meetup in my local area. Um, so I might have a think about doing that um, after I get back from holiday. I might plan some logistics and maybe um, reach out to some of the people that I've spoken to and see if they'd be up for it. Because actually, as I've said multiple times now, um, the support in the community um, that I'm getting now is like amazing and uh, my other friends and family have been great but actually being able to bounce things off people that are in exactly the same situation as me has just been like amazing um so yeah I'm gonna yeah I think I will definitely try and do that um what's to lose really um what else are we doing um not much else I don't think just sort of getting ready for our holiday now um, that's stressful enough as it is trying to pack for two kids, uh, let alone all the additional um, worry and, and stuff that's going on. Um, but yeah, there's one thing I know I've forgotten to do is um, a few days ago I did speak about um, uploading a video to do with Freddie and his hypermobility and how um, I think there's, well, there clearly is a link between that and DDH and um, a bit of Freddie's story for anyone that might be interested. Um, so I will definitely do that. Um, in the next couple of days when I get um, a second to sort it out. Um, but yeah, apart from that, all good. Um, we're now in week two and we're just gonna sort of try and have a nice holiday. Um, I'll still be documenting when I can, if possible, um, as I'm sure just being away is gonna throw up its own challenges for us. You know, the heat, not being able to do things. Obviously I'm conscious about if we ever went to the beach and like, I don't, obviously don't want that to get any sand in him. That'd be a nightmare. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, uh, catch you later.